In this shade light short, we're going to look at some of the features of the shade light render window. So if I open up the shade light render window, we can see that this opens on screen. Now it's worth knowing that the shade light render window opens where it was left last time and also at the same size. Now I'm rendering this scene at 1280 by 720, which is also the size of the screen resolution that I'm currently working on. This has zoomed the render to 50%. So this isn't the final quality of the render, we're just getting a 50% preview of this. To have a look at this at full size, we can use zoom and pan. If I click on the shade light render window, I can use my wheel to zoom in to 100% to get an idea of how the render looks. And I can use my left mouse button to pan around the shade light render window. Another option that we also have that's worth knowing is always on top. This is in the view menu, and if I select this, this means that when I now click into SketchUp, it doesn't go over the top of the shade light render window. This is very useful when you're only working with one single screen and you don't want other programs to keep going over the top of shade light. But it's worth knowing where it is just in case you do need to turn it off. 